you want to hide your your official acts in a way that nobody else has and nobody else would try to you're going to be exposed to the world I think she gets either indicted or there's a criminal referral uh, somehow squashed by the higher ups I can't see her getting away from this with nothing. Well, so the good doctor is making a bold prediction about Hillary Clinton's email and co uh, server controversy. Uh, we believe the FBI matter is in its final phase based on our reporting. Now, the author of the book, Clinton Inc., is with me now. That's Daniel Harper, online editor of the Weekly Standard. Daniel, good day to you. Um, I guess, what, two people know what's going on, right? One's James Comey, head of the FBI, and one's Loretta Lynch, the attorney general. Beyond yeah, that, could we say that anybody has any factual knowledge about where we stand? No, and Catherine Herridge and other people have done great reporting that's given us a lot of insight, but the actual investigation and what is going on, what is being decided, is a bit of a black hole and it's a bit mysterious. With that said, Dr. Krauthammer is totally right, of course, that regardless of what happens, uh, a lot of people were going to believe that something that she should have been indicted if she isn't, and if she is indicted, well, that creates huge problems for the Obama administration and so either way I think we're looking at Obama administration scandals and because don't forget Hillary Clinton uh, divorce from her uh, 2016 presidential bid was a high-level cabinet official and of course it does affect the presidential election. Yeah here's what we got now Pam Brown Catherine Harris report this quoting now in a case like this you get one shot at the Queen the pressures are enormous on the agents as the case has to be airtight and perfect end quote you'd agree with that Totally. And I would make this other point that we have a lot of evidence that's public because a lot of the emails have been released by over because of a court order. A lot of the emails have been released by the State Department. And so we have a lot of insight into the investigation. I would also but I would suggest that there's a lot more evidence that we just don't have that we don't have any insight to. So I think what we're seeing publicly is just the tip of the iceberg and that there's just a lot more and it's probably a lot more complicated. Another risk factor for Hillary Clinton is this reportedly coming FBI interview with Hillary Clinton, a lot of public officials that go down for various reasons do so not because of what they've done, but because of untruths or lies that they've told no, to they, federal that, officials. That's interesting, so, but you don't know if that's days away or weeks away. We don't, we don't know, we don't know that's that scheduled. We don't know if it's happened. We don't know anything about it exactly. Mm. There's been some reports that it's coming soon, but obviously, it, again, it's part of that black hole where yeah. we where we can base our knowledge on other investigations and on great reporting, but it's still there is still limited information. Yeah, back to the article. I think this is an interesting quote too. Timing is of the essence, but being right is absolutely critical. And now you get a sense of how much pressure there is to get it right, Daniel. James Comey, the FBI director, Loretta Lynch, the attorney general, and many other people underneath them, their careers are on the line. The decision that they make, they, they will have to defend, defend and defend, because people are going to be mad regardless of what they come down, how they come down. They have to understand that the facts and the law are on their side, and that's how they should be making the decision. As, as, you know, as Catherine Herridge says, it, it, they're... It, they want this airtight. It will look very, very bad. Their careers will will, will be ruined if they're not. And so I think it's, it's there's a lot building up behind the scenes, and it's we just can't wait to see what comes All right, next. We'll see if anything. Uh, Daniel Harper, thank you for coming back today. Good to have you back on the program out of D.C. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Bill.